channel, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today we are going to be working on rolled felt flowers. I love these. I use them for all kinds of projects. They're a great staple to know how to make. Um, you can make them with all kinds of materials, even paper, but felt is kind of the go-to because it's easy to work with, it's inexpensive, and it is, is stiff enough to hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I love them, but there's so many different ones. I've done a bunch of different projects over the years with felt flowers. I've done, you know, how to make felt flowers. I've showed you what different sizes they turn out to be because just because it's a two inch flower in Cricut Design Space, these are all two inch flowers. Uh, this little finished flower is not two inches. So I did a whole project cutting out all different sizes and showing you what size your flowers are going to turn out to be physically re corresponding to those Cricut Design Space sizes. Today, we are going for multitudes of different flowers. So I've gone through Cricut Design Space and I've grabbed 20 different cut files for rolled flowers and we're going to make all of them and see, you know, kind of how they turn out. Here's a little sampling. I've already used a couple, so all 20 are not here. But, uh, you know, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will give you close-ups on how they all turned out. And then you can decide which ones you like for your next project. Let's open Cricut Design Space and get started. Okay, y'all. So we are going to start by opening our cut files. Now, here are 20 felt flowers that I have collected over the years from Cricut Access, from some of my own files, from other projects that I've made, and I've taken those projects and I've compiled them all into one uh, cut file with all 20 flowers. So we are gonna go ahead and make these. Super excited to show you all the different types. Now there are a few that are like my favorites and once we get started you'll be able to see what those are but you can see at the end of the day they are really uh, the same general concept of a rolled design with edges, different edges and a center. So whether they have, you know, fluttery petals or uh, scalloped petals or, you know, whatever the case may be, it's still the same concept. So we're going to go ahead and cut these. Now in this file, I will make it public so that y'all can grab it from Cricut Access. You will see that we have one inch, two inch, and three inch flowers. These are all exactly the same. I've just made the cut files, you know, the different sizes. So that way, regardless of what size flower I'm looking for, I can just cut them straight out here. Now, I have made a previous post, I will link it down below, that shows you the difference on like if I cut a three inch flower or a two inch flower or a one inch flower, that is the flat scalloped design here, how big those flowers will end up being once they are rolled. So if you are looking to have, you know, a two inch finished flower, this two inch flower is not going to be two inches when it's finished. So I, I think in that post, I show you all the way up to like a seven or an eight inch flower, how big those finished rolled flowers are. So I will link that below. But for today, we are going to go ahead and cut out all the flowers in the two inch design so that they are all symmetrical and they're all the same uh, general size since we really just want to see what the end looks like. So I am going to be using my Maker 3. You can use any machine that cuts felt, ideally with the uh, rotary blade. I couldn't think of what it was called. So like your Explore Air 2 can cut felt, but it's going to use a uh, scoring or rotary foot. I don't remember what it was called, but it, it does work. It does not work as well. Your Maker, your Maker 3, your Explore Air 3, those three that can use the rotary tool are ideal for cutting felt, but you know, you work with what you got. So this we are going to cut on mat because we are going to be doing felt. I am going to change the material size because I am using a standard 
eight and a half by 11 letter sheet piece of felt. So I need it to arrange it on that felt. And it's going to put a few on a second sheet, which that's fine. We can cut two sheets of felt. All right, hit continue. Now you have all different types of felt, whether that's Cricut brand felt or non Cricut brand felt. The main thing. <laughs> Girls, come on, that's enough. The main thing you need to know when you are picking which type of felt you're working with here is, is your felt uh, have a backing on it? Is it bonded or is it just standard felt? Today we're using standard felt. If you're using Cricut felt, it has that little C up here. Uh, you can always add a bonded fabric layer. You can buy that at the craft store to your felt if it's too thin. But for the most part, that rotary tool cuts through stiff uh, bonded felt or normal just from the dollar store felt, whichever you're going for. So we're going to do more pressure because you know we need all the pressure. And it's saying I want to use my fine point blade and I don't I want to use my rotary blade? There we go. So we will switch that over and now we will go ahead and cut it. And then when we get to the second sheet, we will do that same, making sure we're selecting felt, more pressure and a rotary blade. So let's go ahead and switch to the Cricut and start cutting these. All right, so let's prep our felt to go into our machine. I am going to be using a fabric grip mat. You can also use a strong grip mat. But you definitely need something that is going to really hold your felt in place. It shifts while it's cutting, and that is not good. So here's our felt. I'm just gonna use this pretty pink color because I'm cutting 20 flowers. And this is a color that I actually use quite a bit. So I think I'm going to use these flowers for an Easter wreath that I'm making. So it'll be good to have some bright spring colors. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom, all the way to the edges. And then we'll use our brayer to push it down and make sure that it's really bonded and there are no air bubbles underneath all that felt. Seems a little extra, but I promise it's important. Now we are all set with our machine, except we need a rotary blade. Nope, that's a scoring tool. That is the rotary blade. So you can see it is literally a little blade on a wheel here. And we're going to switch that out for our fine point blade so that we can use this spinning wheel instead of the fine point blade. Let's snag that in. You want the gold uh, gear here to match the gold gear inside your machine. Close that. that had a weird sound. All right, make sure it's all set. Now we can advance our felt. And hey, go. And while we can completely wait for this to cut and come out and take all the felt off, taking the felt off takes a minute. So I've got a second cutting mat for my second piece of felt. Oh, we can be cutting this while we remove this. Just FYI. All 
All right, y'all, so my camera cut out because cutting these felt flowers out took hours. So if you're cutting all 20, there you go. I literally set my Cricut to cut and after the first hour, um, I was like, okay, this is gonna take a while. So I went and got my hair cut while the rest uh, cut. And when I came back, my camera had shut off. So I went ahead and I just went with it. I removed everything from the cutting mats and I glued all of the 19 flowers you see here last night. We're gonna glue the last one together so that you can see how it's done. I do have a complete tutorial on putting rolled flowers together. If you need more help, you can go check that out. But you can see that they are all slightly different, which is super fun. If you are cutting these, some were easier than others. Um, and some worked just simpler than others. So once we glue this, I will go ahead and kind of tell you which ones were easy. So I like to use a pair of these tweezers, the reverse ones, so that they stay clamped. Otherwise you have to really hold it. And now you're just going to clamp the end and start rolling. So you want to keep the edge here flat, straight, all kind of going at one level. And then the edges will start to flare out because the petals are meant to get bigger or more full, depending on the flower, but most of them do. So just keep the, the bottom all on one layer. It's called a rolled felt flower because we are literally just rolling these petals around the edge. Dun, da, da, dun. Trying to keep it in the frame for you. Perfect. So then you can see this middle part here goes in the middle. Now, some of them have a small enough middle where just this middle dot will completely encompass the entire middle. That is ideal. I'll try to find one where that worked. Some of them, like this one, kind of end up with a wider base. That's okay. I just keep a little bit of the petals out at the end then. And kind of put it all together. We're going to add our hot glue. And I really add just like four dots around the outside and then spread it out a little. And now we put our dot down. And we want to just make sure all of those layers are glued in. Perfect. If there's any excess glue, we can cut that off. That is how you do it. Let me get this hot glue off my fingers. Some of these down here have a really tight base. And so you can see that the, the circle on the bottom fits solely over the bottom and then the extra edges here could be ruffled. Some just need a bit of that extra base and that's okay. I mean, this is still a pretty big flower. Now, as far as easy and hard flowers goes, these two with all of these cut fluted petals, these are little triangles, like serrated edges. And this one that is similar, any petals where the cuts go down really far, these three though were the hardest. And that's because when the rotary blade was cutting all those little jagged edges, a lot of times it was detaching them from the base of the flower. And so we ended up with just a floof of floofiness. So I adjusted the pattern just a little bit. I added an offset path of 0 0.02 to these petals. Um, and that gave it just enough extra space that the petals were then connected to the base and we could cut them out and roll them. So I will adjust the pattern with the, the cut flowers that worked a little better, that slightly more offset path, um, so that y'all can, can use those as a opposed to the ones that I grabbed from the Access Library. Everything else cut just fine. These three that are rolled, 
like loose patterns, they were definitely the easiest. They were very simple. They cut super fast, not ours. And they're still very pretty. This one's kind of the most uniform, which I like. My favorite that are still pretty easy are the ones like these that have very like uh, scalloped or fluted petals. These typically cut really well and are pretty easy to put together. But I will put up on the screen the rolled felt flower um, designs from Cricut Design Space versus these. So you can see this is the exact same formation that it is in Design Space. This flower is the top left flower. This flower is the bottom right flower. This is what they look like once they are made. Let me bring you in close and give you a close up side by side of those. I hope that this was helpful. If you're trying to make rolled felt flowers, here are 20 different options that you can make. Of course, there are lots of other Cricut uh, felt or paper flowers that you can make that come in different layers, but these are all rolled, which means one long layer rolled up. If you do not have a wireless, cordless hot glue gun, grab one. There are lots of really awesome ones. This one I just got off Amazon and it's it's great. You plug it in to charge it. It heats up pretty fast. It lasts a long time. Obviously, I liked it because it was pink, but um, it, it's a great little glue gun for the price, and I just love that it's cordless. That's the whole goal. So if you liked this project, make sure to stick around. I'm going to be using these flowers on my upcoming Easter wreath with my Easter bunny gnomes. So... You want to see how they work out? I'll see you in that video. Bye, y'all.